Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. A walk through the forest. The element of surprise. That's what happened this morning. Seven o'clock. I step into the forest. This beautiful collection of trees in South Charlotte, North Carolina. And not even seven feet from me was this gorgeous six point buck. We stood there staring at each other. I wish I could have recorded it somehow, some way, but bucks don't talk like humans talk. My imagination made up the story. It was almost like he was saying, so what took you so long to get out here, dude? I mean, the sun has been up a lot longer than you. You're missing a lot by not being here. And then the buck casually walked away. Absolutely no fear of me or Jazzy whatsoever. And you stand there and you wonder, What else in life am I missing out? Just walking outside and you see something that stuns you. Something that is so beautiful. And yet for many of us, we would have rushed off to work. We would have rushed off to do something else. Go to the grocery store. But not today. I didn't want to startle the buck. Six point buck. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. I start things off by asking a question. Why does it always feel better when we do things ourselves? From cooking dinner and, you know, washing the car, doing things for ourselves. Try Googling that question and the page ends up on different stories not associated with answering the question. Why does it feel better when we do things ourselves? Honestly, I was expecting the experts to come on here and say something about doing things for yourself is a great way to stay in the game of real confidence. You have the courage to accept a challenge. But no, that's not what I found. When I Googled the question, that search engine came with a question of its own. Why does it always feel better when you touch yourself? What? I asked, why does it always feel better when we do things for ourselves? And Google says... Why does it feel better when you touch yourself? Which can be taken in so many different directions because of the human mind. Because it's going, really? What's going on here? The more I tried to find the answer out to my question, the more AI technology put me in distant places. The all-knowing Google couldn't locate an answer for me. So, it became a human thing to do it myself. And for myself so that we could talk about it today, which means we still have control over a search engine and the answers aren't always going to be easy. So I'm not going to settle on the confidence and the building up of courage as being my answer. What I'm going to do is continue looking for that answer. Why does it feel better when we do things ourselves? And sometimes while we do that, One of the biggest injuries that takes place is to those around us. When someone wants to offer their help, you go, no, 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 no. I got this. And the reason why is because it feels incredible when you're doing something for yourself. But it's not so incredible when the receiver of I got this is like, all I was trying to do is help you. Seriously, I have the time. I've got the patience. We can work on this together. Like washing the car. I was doing it very, very gently yesterday, and my wife participated. Instead of saying, I got this, I said, man, thank you. Thank you, because now we've got a collaboration. Learning how to work our way through those moments where we want to do something for ourselves without irritating those that want to help. Sure, at work, when you need help, it's never there. You could have a team of 40 people. Hey, uh, you have a second to come help me? No, I'm good. And yet, in other moments, when we think we've got it by ourselves, we don't want people around us, but we do at work. But when we're at home and we're doing something for ourselves, we tend to push people away. Is it because we're trained at work? No, no, I got this. I got this. We're going to have to make it to the end, no matter what. So I like to document things and I like to grow things. I like to find out newer ways to create collaborations with other people without being interrupted and or infected by the presence of someone else. Sometimes when we do things for ourselves, it's just that we need that solitude. 
We need that aloneness. We need to have that moment where the mind doesn't have to think about anything or anyone else except for that place where you're doing something for yourself. I'm Arrow, and that's what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day.